Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this to me? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? So YouTube loves to recommend all kinds of hair videos to me. And I was watching YouTube last night and I kept on getting recommended hair videos of people coloring their hair with all sorts of things. I'm talking coffee. I'm talking beet juice. I'm talking highlighters. I'm talking Sharpies. I'm talking, uh, Crayola markers, everything. Just so much color being done with household items. And I was like, okay, YouTube, I see you. And I know what you're trying to do here. So I leaned in a little bit and I was like, well, let's make a whole damn video about coloring your hair with household items and not hair color like practical people would use. Let's do it. Ow. <laughs> so can you guess what the first household item will be. <coughs> if you guessed beets, you'd be correct. And, um, nobody guessed beets. So this girl apparently is gonna take some damn beet juice, put it in her damn hair, and it's gonna somehow make that shit red as hell. And I don't know if I believe that. Listen, there's so many reasons I don't believe it we'll get into in this video, but beet juice? It seems like the more practical approach, just because beets stain everything, it seems like it kind of makes sense, but also, why are we using that? This girl's name is Balanced Belle, and her video is called, Does Natural Organic Beet Hair Color Work for Brown Hair? My guess is no, but let's watch. So she's gonna take that <laughs> and put it on that and it's gonna somehow make some red I don't know. Well, I mean, her ends are pretty blonde. I could see that working. In my previous video, I actually used the water of boiled beets that I had boiled, and I just added coconut oil to it, and my hair was bleach blonde. What? What? You use the boiled beets and coconut oil and your hair was bleach blonde? I'm sorry, there's no way. What? Where does blonding come into play with those two items? Coconut oil and beets? That makes no sense. I'm doing my ends and it's more like a faded out ombre. So it's like okay. a little bit of blonde, light brownish. Cause I know most people were asking me questions. Does it work on brown hair? So this is gonna be the answer to those questions. There's just no way that's gonna work on brown hair dark, level four hair. It just doesn't make sense uh, with color theory. This beet juice is like a level eight, red, red. It's gonna go over dark hair. If it's not lightning, if there's no lightning involved, it's probably not gonna show up or it's gonna be a very faint red. I don't have much knowledge about beet juice hair coloring, but I will say, I don't believe this is gonna work, Belle. I don't think it's gonna happen for you today. Okay, so she's taking the damn blender. She's blending this together. She's adding coconut oil. She's gonna melt the coconut oil now. I don't know how she's gonna get the beet juice out of there. <sighs> this just seems like so much work for a process that should be quick and easy. All you have to do is buy a dummy permanent hair color and get it over with and just buy a red one and just do the damn thing. Stop, just stop. It's a lot. So we're adding the beets with the coconut oil and we're gonna make a little uh, concoction on the stove it looks like. All right, Belle, you won for the most inconvenient hair color award in the world. Oh my God, this is a lot. She has more to do make this happen. Strain the mixture. Now we're straining. My eyes are strained from watching this. You're kidding. You're kidding. No, you're kidding. You're kidding, Belle. You're gonna do all of that shit for some damn red hair? All of it? Okay, so now we're squeezing out the juice. Dude, to do your whole head in this would take you hours. That's all the juice she has so far. And she's been doing this for so long already. I mean, I just hope something happens for her because I will be so upset if she does this entire process and literally nothing happens to her hair. I will be so upset for her. Yo, never mind your hair being stained, her damn hands and body is gonna be stained. No gloves? Why would you? Uh-uh. No. Looks like a damn murder scene in your house, man. Looks like you murdered someone. I hope nobody comes to your door while you're doing this because you're gonna be like, eh, what's up? And they're gonna be like, <gasps> what's on your hands? So it looks like she's doing the ends of her hair with the beet juice. So this could work because her ends are lighter than the top of her hair. However, still skeptical if it's gonna really stay in her hair. I just don't see how that's gonna work. So I'm gonna wash this um, with a Oil removing, like sh clarifying shampoo. Oil okay. Out of the end so that it's dry, um, and then I'm gonna 
actually just keep my hair kind of moist and then put the dye in. I would have recommended her doing the color on her dry hair. Because this isn't a permanent color, because this is already something that is probably very, very light formula, uh, you might wanna have, you know, your hair cuticle dried out before this. Otherwise, the water is gonna get locked in your cuticle. It's gonna kind of uh, fill the hair in a way to where the color can't actually grab on to the inner parts of the hair because it's already filled with water. You're kind of like pre-diluting the color when your hair's wet before coloring. So, I would have recommended it being dry. I mean, I haven't seen the outcome yet, but I'm expecting it's gonna look terrible. Oh my God, I'm so negative, I love it. Well, that's fun. Kind of a fun way of coloring hair. Just dip it right in, swirl it around. Do this and you're done. Ooh, that looks like a very nice concoction she has there. Uh, it has a beautiful, slippery, silky texture, it looks like. Great for getting through to all the hair follicles and fully penetrating the cuticle. I love that. I'm kind of wondering, is this gonna go very right or very wrong? Also, holy crap, it is all over her entire being. It is all over her. <laughs> Where are your Gloves. Where are they, Belle? Okay, so she's got it wrapped up and we're coming back three hours later. Ho <laughs> ho What are you doing for three hours, man? Well, it looks like it did a little something and it looks like it dried out a bit and her hair is probably gonna be very soft from the coconut oil, so. She rinsed with cold water. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. That actually looks okay. It looks okay. I'm not gonna lie though, her hair looks really greasy from that coconut oil. It's a little bit too heavy for her hair, I believe. I'm gonna give this a solid, uh, <sighs> Out of 10, 10 being the best, I would probably give it a three. It's better than a one. I mean, at least it did something, but what it did was not very good. Listen, she doesn't look bad. Oh God, just buy a dying permanent color, please, Belle. And just put it on your hair. You can buy vegan formulas. You can buy things that are natural. That was just a lot of work for a little outcome and an outcome that wasn't too satisfying. There was no shine, there was no luster. It didn't really look that healthy. It wasn't vibrant. The color was kind of lacking. And I don't know, I don't see the point. That was kind of like Ugh. um so that's beats if you want to go home if you want well if you are home and you want to color your hair with beats well it does kind of work sort of but also i wouldn't recommend it kind of seems like a n very tedious process that is not worth it for what the outcome is so let's move on from that and let's see if we can recoup ourselves here with another video let's decide here what should i watch next okay i got it we're gonna watch Linzor. We're dying our hair with highlighters. And listen, you guys have seen me color my hair with Sharpies. I followed Miss Mackenzie Marie's Sharpie hair coloring tutorial. It was messy. It was wild. It actually came out kind of decent. I was surprised at how much Sharpies color hair and whatever. Highlighters seems interesting to me because, well, they're highlighters and highlighters are fun and they're bright and they're colorful. And I feel like you can get really bright hair colors with highlighters. So let's see what color highlighter she chooses and see if it kind of did, well, anything really. I feel like it's gonna work. The thing that I wanna know is if it's gonna work, like I think it's gonna work. Is it gonna be bright colors or is it gonna be dull? I feel like it'll be bright and really pretty. This could be really good. I'm gonna try to dye my hair with Sharpies and not just any Sharpie. A highlighter. I like the boxiness of it. <laughs> but what you do is kind of get the ink out of the pen. It's a pain in the ass, girl. And then you put it in your hair. Are you excited to see if I can dye my hair with Sharpies? Kind of, yeah. But now it's become like this huge thing for me. And I'm really trying to get my hair to become a better quality and longer and like trying to get it to grow out until I made this wig and got obsessed and now I want to have this hair. Well, we're going for half pink. Oh, oh, I've seen her before. Needed to be bleached by the time we start doing this. So I'm bleaching my hair. We're going for the bleach. And there is the outcome and it's really good. I don't know. My hair is the best, but the outgrowth is gone now. Actually, it looks pretty decent. I mean, I don't know how much work she put into it, but it seemed like it was really quick. Uh, power of editing though. I mean, it probably took her a while, but that looks kind of dope and it actually looks like a good color and it really fits her skin tone. I love everything about her her hair. She's gonna do one side pink and keep the other side blonde. I don't know about that. Um, that could be good. It could be really bad. I don't know. I feel like, ew. Good, it would be good. Okay guys, these are the colors I've chosen because I didn't want a too pink. So I wanted to mix in some of a warmer pink. Those are pretty pinks. Okay, don't even ask what the hell I'm, <laughs> I'm using. Ah! I'm scared. Okay, don't hurt yourself. Yo, that shit is mad square. Kind of like trying, it's happening. Things are coming out. <laughs> if you saw my video, you know that I did that completely incorrectly. 
Mackenzie like dipped her Sharpie in water. And then like once the ink came out of that side, she then like blew on that side. I didn't do that. I blew on the side that still had the ink in it. And I was like eating ink. <laughs> it wasn't the worst taste. It just tasted like alcohol and gasoline, which I think I'm kind of into. So it wasn't the worst taste in the world. Okay, it's working. Okay, guys, we have four more. To Wait, did go. she just blow that into the water? Ew. Wait, 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 wait. Why is she blowing the ink into water? I didn't get that memo. Oh no. Okay. You're definitely not supposed to be blowing the ink into water. That's just gonna dilute the ink a lot. So I don't know where she got that idea from. However, not like I did it right when I did the video. Yeah, you're supposed to blow the ink into an empty thing and fill it with just ink and no water or else you're gonna get watery ink and we don't want watery ink. We want it fully pigmented and we want it to really show up. So that was kind of Lindsor's first mistake. Let's see. I don't know if it's gonna work at this point because she did that. I don't know. This is it. This is what we have. Is this really what I was supposed to do? Now I just have a bunch of water. You weren't supposed to put it in water, Lindsor. <laughs> Everything in. Okay, let's see how this looks. Am I just supposed to pour this in now? No. <laughs> no. Why is my pink pen red? You know, I'm gonna try it no matter what. Like if I'm gonna have red hair, then so be it. I don't know why it's so red. Ugh. I don't understand why she put water with it. Okay, I'm scared. Oh, oh, that is so red. I feel it now. I feel it coming. Half red, half blonde is not something I'm going for here. I feel like it's a good pink though. It's definitely a coral pink for sure. And my scalp really a lot. Ah, it's so red. Oh my God. I wonder why she didn't part her hair in the middle. I feel like this kind of half, half look only works when your hair is parted in the middle. On the side, it's kind of like, did you mean to kind of mess up your hair a little bit? Kind of look, you know? How did she get it so pigmented though? Is this real? Disaster. I mean, it did turn a little bit of a different color. It's not the exact. <laughs> what happened? This is it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother putting another layer on because this didn't work. Why didn't it work? Oh yeah, you mixed it with water, Lindsor. Why? Did you think I was gonna kick it, you guys? No, now that I've started this video, I'm just gonna have to dye my hair pink. Ooh. It's too late for me to reconsider. Oh wow. And by late, I mean it's like 12 o'clock. Ah! Oh. Oh my God. It works. Kind of cute now that I'm on video. I definitely have a thing for this half. Dude, she looks incredible. You always know I think they look incredible when I get chills and I just got chills. Dude, this should always be your look, Lindsor. You look incredible. I'm obsessed. <laughs> well, well, let's go. Okay, this is very difficult for me to digest. I would hate myself. The 2015 Linsor would hate this 2020 Linsor, who's scared of dyeing her hair. This color went so well with the pink. You know what? I think I'm gonna like this more than I think I am. Okay, Linsor, I'm gonna be honest with you. You look incredible and this should always be your hair color and that's that. I'm moving on. I don't wanna talk about it anymore. It looks amazing, stunning, fabulous. It's perfect. All right, let's watch one more. This one is gonna be with Coffee. Coffee Che. Coffee. Coffee Fe. However you like to say it. Um, this is by Miranda. It's I try to dye my hair with coffee. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Well, smiley face. Parenthesis, 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 parenthesis. Briefly heard that it's a thing to color your hair with coffee. However, I just don't see how that's gonna work out as per all the other videos we just watched. Um, but this one I am the most skeptical over because coffee is not that staining, but let's see what she has to say. In today's video, I'm going to dye my hair with coffee. Because why not? So my idea was if coffee stains, maybe it can stain my hair. Or maybe not. So is this just oh. straight up coffee? Like coffee ground beans with like oil? Are you guys coffee drinkers? I am not, like I don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee either guys. Sometimes Matcha latte all the way, hey. Know. Here we go, BB. No turning back now, BB. I'm using a fork. <laughs> what is that? What did she just put on her hair? And I'm also sad because today, 
my work had um, a movie come. This isn't gonna do anything. I don't know if it was inside of my work or if it was, this is not gonna do anything to my hair. Okay, so it does look like it's dark. However, is it, does it have staining properties? I think not. I think it's not gonna work anyways. I don't think it's gonna do anything. I actually think this is gonna be the one that does the least, which is sad. I just want something to work today. I just want something to happen. Please, hair gods, make one of these like actually work at some point. I don't even know what she's putting on her hair. It seems like ground up coffee beans with conditioner, with coffee liquid mixed in with it. And I don't know where that came from, nor did I listen to what she was saying, so. It's probably my fault. The thing is that the coffee beans are a bit darker than her natural hair color, so that's good. Um, and I, I, I feel like it might, I might, might, might add a little bit of shine and, and a little tiny bit of color, but nothing really. It would be really cool if it worked. Coffee's pretty practical. It's like not that hard to, to, to use, you know? Make sure that I have like the mask um, all up in there. She's about to rinse it off. Let's see what happens here. I actually, I. Might be really good for her hair though. I put it in my hair um, and, oh, wait. and blow dried it. I really don't see any difference. My hair is really soft. It's almost kind of greasy. I don't think it's any different in the shade at all. For some reason to me, it looks a teeny bit darker. However, that might just be me being delusional, which I often am. Um, I will be the first person to say that, that I am a delusional queen. And, um, but it actually looks like kind of nice. Um, we can put a before and an after next to each other. I lied. It looks exactly the same. Uh, it looks exactly the same. Um, so that didn't work either. I just gotta... <laughs> Nothing's working today. Uh, nothing's working. Uh, why can't something happen? But I feel like... It looks exactly the same. There's, there's a lot of coffee in there. Here and it's really gross. <sighs> Should we watch one more? I just want something to work today. All right, one more quick video. Let's just watch one more because I need something to happen today. I need something to work. And this is my last resort. This is by Sherry. Uh, no, 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 I don't know what her last name is. This is dyeing my hair with food coloring. I feel like this is your best bet if you're gonna try and use a household item to color your hair. Um, let's see what happens. Probably no, I shouldn't be doing and something that I might end up regretting. A yes and yes. I'm going to do it anyways. And yes, you are. YouTube. And also because I am curious. I'm going to maybe mix these two together to kind of get the shade of pink that I want for my hair. I don't want like baby pink. Oh, she's going pink. Ah! Fun. I kind of want to have what I had before, kind of like a dusty, smoky pink. And I'm just going to use just a regular white conditioner. It's just. Oh. Conditioner. So she put the conditioner with the food coloring. She's gonna put it on her head. We're gonna see if it works. Hopefully something happens here. You can see the label as it is and put it on my hair and just see how it all turns out. I feel like this is our best bet. She has really light hair and she's putting a pink over it and it's food coloring and I feel like ugh, two and two, uh, it's gonna work. It's gonna, I, feel, I believe in her. That's pretty pink, but again, gonna be too light, I feel like. Ugh, just looks really light. I don't think this is gonna work either and I'm getting sad. <laughs> And I must say, Ooh, actually, it's looking like something. That looks beautiful. So I'm a little bit excited. Yes, to please know. work. Turn out if it actually is gonna stay pink or if it's just going to completely wash out and I wasted my time. I don't know. Or if it's gonna damage my hair, which I don't really think it's gonna damage. No, no, it's not gonna damage your hair. It's just conditioner and and pigment. I never really looked into it before I put it on my hair. I just actually just got it. I'll check back on you guys in just a bit. Welcome back guys. So as you guys can see from my hair, I'm done. it didn't really turn out. It's not pink. It didn't really stain it at all. I mean, if you look closely, you can see from here, it's anything. The blue. Is this my life today? But um, you know, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. 
nothing happened. Put a little bit too much conditioner. Maybe next time if I do decide to try this again, I, which I might try again because I do have a lot of the food coloring. No, just stop talking. Just stop talking. Sherry, you let me down, girl. Nothing happened. <laughs> why Why is there nothing happening with these videos? I, I wanted something so badly to happen and nothing happened in all four of those videos. What a letdown that was for me. At least Lindsor colored her hair after, but otherwise, ugh. I wanted something to work. I'm sorry nothing worked. Sorry. Well, I guess if there is one thing we can take away from today's video is that you can't color your hair with anything besides hair color and henna. I guess that's kind of considered hair color. Just go out and get some hair color. This seems like a huge waste of time. I wanted something to happen and nothing happened. All of those things were just lame and dumb and ugh. Y'all let me down today. I guess the beat thing, like if you really wanted to, you could do it, but otherwise I just stay away from all the other things. There's a lot of natural hair color lines now, so. <sighs> but household items are just not gonna do the trick. They're not. Sorry. All right, that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at BrimondoNYC. Follow my hair care brand, Xmondo Hair, on Instagram. You can shop Xmondo Hair, link down below. We have amazing, beautiful, fabulous products. You can read the reviews on the website. And that is all for today. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.